Yeah, you sure? Yeah. 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 Really How you guys doing today? Hey, everybody. We are recording. Hello. Say hello, Jake. Hello again. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, like we were talking earlier, like uh, we need, to, I, I need to look into getting a setup where I can have each one of our tracks on a separate, each one of our mics on a separate track so that when people are not like, you know, loud enough, like I am not right now. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, and there we go. That's kind of fun. <laughs> where I'm not loud enough or where Jake is too loud or that anyone is, else is too loud. That cause, is a common occurrence. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, Fucking sit there and totally just turn it down. God damn it, Jake! Shut up. Yep. It would give us less than that <laughs> randomness. Yeah. Uh, but today uh, we're gonna just kind of um, it's it's kind of a laid back bullshit pod. We got our our buddy Jake in the studio. Yeah. Um, he's here. Hello. And Ron you know, has the youngin today, so we're gonna do something a bit different. We're gonna talk a little bit about uh, Pathfinder and. You know, kind of discuss our plans as to what we're going to do because we we kind of wanted to do this for a little bit, a little while now. I'd say I don't know what six months we we came up. With. I mean, I've wanted to do this for more like five years, but yeah, like we've been seriously talking about it for like six months. Yeah, but we didn't start a podcast until last year, no. so I mean, it's not like we we had anything that we could even do. We had no platform. Now we have a platform. We have things set up. It's kind of like all right, cool shit. Yeah, dur and dur. So, okay, Jake, you need to get a little closer. Closer? Okay. Yeah, because uh, I, I still have yet to get in here and do a serious volume test so I could sure, actually sure. adjust this stuff to where it needs to be. Sure, absolutely. And I mean, like, we, like we've uh, discovered, these new mics are more directional than the old ones. They don't pick up surrounding. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They don't pick volume much. Is this, is this fine right here? I yes, think so. That's, that's okay. Sound I can sound, hear you. <laughs> sound, uh, sounds looking good. We always want to be between negative 15 or around negative 15, no higher than 9, maybe 6. So, Okay. Yeah, everything seems fine okay, right cool. now. So, anyway, Pathfinder, you know, we're going to we're gonna mess with that a little bit, talk yeah. about some character creations and, and everything today. Yeah, so basically what came up is uh, I, I have been in the past a pretty avid uh, uh, tabletop role-playing game player, and... Uh, I've been wanting to play one since I moved down here uh, to Cincinnati for a long time and just never. Luke, I hate to cut team. you off, but the pencil you gave me has no lead. <laughs> 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 like, it literally <laughs> fell out right as I, like, I'm sitting there, like, I hit the button to, like, get me some lead so I can write, and the, the, what was left okay. fell out. You know, these what? are the cheap pencils. You, you just got to keep clicking. <laughs> You know what's messed up is I didn't even think about it. Luke gave me a pen. No, he didn't even give you that pen. You, you picked, picked that pen up. off off the table. Liar. So Luke gave it to me, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't count that way. No, I'm sorry, Jake. Pens Darn. are uh, shunned when it comes to playing uh, Ooh, role-playing games, spinner. typically because uh, you bastard. Yeah, you gotta you gotta not make a mistake. Yeah, because so, I mean, you gotta constantly be erasing your hit points. You level up. You gotta erase and rewrite your ability scores. Your hit, you know, keeping track things. of the spells that you've used exactly, for the day. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, like I was saying, I wanted to play for years. Moved to Cincinnati. Haven't had the chance. Didn't really haven't met a, met people that want to play. And now finally we got together and decided, hey, <coughs> let's uh, fucking roll some dice me. and well, do that. We have a personal Discord server in addition to our Ungodly Geeks Discord server, which you guys should totally join. There's a link on our Patreon page, and I'll put it on our website um, in the near future, uh, where we were discussing it one day, like, hey, let's do this. And I know Luke and another one of our, our members in there, another one of our friends, got into a real deep discussion, about, probably while I was asleep, because I, I actually sleep, unlike some of these people. Yeah. And... Um, Unlike some we, of us. Yeah, unlike some of us, I do sleep. So we were they were sitting there, they were discussing it. I'm I'm completely down because I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I actually used to role play on Twitter. And it wasn't anything glamorous, it wasn't anything magical, but we weaved a lot of really good stories. So I already have a sort of role play character that I could insert into this world. Now, depending on what part of his life I pluck him from, he's either gonna be too he's either just gonna be fitting into it real perfectly or he's gonna be way fucking overpowered. Because <laughs> The story, he he was originally an Elder Scrolls character. If any of you know anything about Elder Scrolls, when it comes to power, you can get an extremely OP character. Oh, and yeah. the deeper you go into the metaphysics and the lore, the 
the more powerful you can find up until the point where you are literally manipulating the fabric of reality. Yeah, which for yes. a game balance scenario just is not right. That's that's my job. I manipulate the boundaries. I was going to well, say. Well, this particular character, that's just lore, not I, actual like, oh, yeah, this is what he's going to be able to do. Obviously, it's game breaking. It's unbalanced. Yeah. But it's, it's a matter of lore and what's canon. In the universe from where he came from, he can become a literal god. And there is a point in his life where he does. But that's not the point in his life I'm going to be plucking him from for this. He's going to be at the very beginning when he was just, you know, a guy living in the shadows and killing people for fun. I mean, you know, you could. It'd be kind of funny to watch Luke just be like, oh, yeah, you're a god? Fight all of these guards. There's 70 of them. Have fun. I mean, if that was the case, it would be, okay, this character is a god. So Summon a I'm in control of the character. <laughs> no, no, the Tarask is nothing compared to a god. <laughs> yeah, no, there I... would be no, the character would be, okay, it's a god. It doesn't live on this plane because it's not allowed to. Yeah, no, I, I, I of course, like, I mean, like we said, it would just be stupid. No, like, of course. like, seriously, it would just be dumb to sit there and start with a god character. I also can't say I don't have the experience of playing, like, level 20 beyond games. So Epic I level? don't, yeah. I don't have epic level game experience. Eventually, I would, for shits and giggles, totally we could run a we're all gods type scenario. Just but, don't uh, bring a Tarask in. No, no, I don't. no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Like I said, you'd shit on the Tarask at that point. Here's There's what. no shitting on the Tarask. The Tarask just kills everyone. It I say matter we, what level you are. I say we just say, you know, fuck it, and we, we run the campaign we're planning. Mm-hmm. Let's just run it to that point. Yeah, oh, no, that is that is like the ultimate goal when you start a D&D campaign is run it as long as possible. There's, I just saw this YouTube video of some <laughs> British dude that's been running a campaign for like 37 years. His entire basement's devoted to having full setups and maps, and it's awesome. Like, that that's the dream. The longest campaign I think I've been a part of lasted for like a year and a half, two years, something like that. Right, now. And obviously play, players come in and out, characters change, characters die, um, but yeah, I mean, we got to like level 15, 16, 17, something around there. Right. Sure, sure, sure. And the beauty of this is, you know, we are in 100% control. We're mm-hmm. all here. None of us are going anywhere. Yeah. You know, we got the equipment, we got the setup, we got the network. We I And, and something else, not to cut you off, Joe, I'm sorry, but it, something else, me and Luke were actually talking about this the other night. We are in complete agreement and i'm sure you will be as well we all know what kind of a game we're gonna play this isn't a serious game this isn't a a rules nazi game this isn't anything this is just let's sit down let's have some fun and let's play some dungeons and dragons like that's that's what it is yeah no i mean that's that's actually my approach to almost everything we do yeah like there is no oh (laughs) we're yeah yeah like when we were playing magic a couple years back that was just let's have some fun with it we weren't nazis about the rules we weren't you know super hardcore like you and your former roommate were (laughs) yeah fuckers ruined it for us by the way i hate you Uh, yeah i noticed because you guys just suddenly stopped and then i was like hey you want to play magic you're like no not with you i'm like oh I mean, I didn't mean playing with you. I didn't like the other guy. I also didn't like when I totaled up the amount of money I spent within a year and went, "Yeah, this is worse than crack." Yeah, you know, yeah, what, though? it's worse than. To a be drug fair, addiction. we've probably spent more money on this than we have on that. No, 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 no I have not even a little oh, wait, bit. Uh, me, no, 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 no. I mean this. Yeah, the podcast, not the D and D, not the D and D stuff. No, no, the podcast we've probably spent more on collectively. Collectively, oh, yes, yes. I mean, I know. between you and I, we are both in this for over a grand now. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I, I th- forgot about the hosting and stuff too. I mean, I, that's not even including the hosting, dude. Are you oh, kidding yeah. me? I mean, all the foam I put up and the man hours I put into it. Like, yeah. oh yeah, the the furniture you bought. I mean, that's that's equipment, not like. It's not to say that you guys have not put a lot of money slash effort into this. It's just that magic is a really expensive oh, card. Yeah, yeah, but for a habit, I mean, I get for a that. Hobby, it's it's expensive. No, I totally am on board with that. But compared to yeah, what no. we spend on those cards versus what we've spent here, I spent this, about I spent about three hundred dollars on the cards. Yeah, so I, did, I have a, spent more on the on the podcast. Yeah, than yeah, that, but, but like I've I said, spent way more on other things. Too. Oh yeah, we've. Well, I mean, you look at my Steam computer library. Wise, my yeah. Steam library. Of my computer itself. I've a spent thousand games. Way I barely more. On, on, on. <laughs> haven't played. Never installed. Yeah, anyway, no, Dungeons I'm, and Dragons. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. But constantly, we're going to call it D and D. Pathfinder is the spiritual successor to D and D Edition Three Point Five. 
Yeah. Uh, a lot of the uh, some of the original creators of D anD D got tired of the bullshittery Wizards of the Coast was doing, uh, especially with Fourth Ed turning the game into a uh, glorified World of Warcraft with mm-hmm. on paper. Well, oh, you yeah. know what? I'm going to say I don't mind Warcraft. I love Warcraft as a, as a franchise. Even even I don't care about World yeah. of Warcraft, but. I don't care for a world like that outside of that kind of environment. Like, oh, I mean, I don't. I don't necessarily mean the world. They turned a uh, no, I tabletop get game into an MMO. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, like that's exactly. the point that I'm getting to. It's like, come on, guys, you can do better than that. Yeah, yeah. They had like an online component. They had cards. They had that. They monetized it to a point where a lot of people got really, really mad. Yeah, and they left, and they wanted to keep more of the traditional. And fix some problems that three five had, and I don't want to start a uh, well. I like this edition, any yeah. type of crap. Like I, I, fully disclosure, I've never played four. I haven't played five. I'd like to try five and D and D next was the one after that, or five was next. I don't. Yeah, remember. Yeah, five E is what a lot of people online are playing right now. Yeah, right, like right, right. I'd like to try those at some point, but. I bought a bunch of Pathfinder books, so we're going to do that. (laughs) Yeah, it was actually really funny because when he brought it up to me, he was like, hey, you want to play Dungeons & Dragons? And I've been – I I come from a very unique standpoint because I have never actually played Dungeons & Dragons. I mean, I played it once when I was like 14, but like it was – it wasn't anything and I didn't – Okay, I've never played Dungeons & Dragons either. Yeah, that's part of it's not unique, but you – Watch, uh, but I critical w- role but I watch time. Critical Role religiously. Right, which, see. you know, I mean, if if anybody is bored for four hours on Mondays, watch Critical Role. It's on YouTube. <laughs> like a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play D anD D, and it is the most entertaining thing ever. Anyway, the yeah. point hey, is, before they- you go any further, I just want to make you guys sure. Don't worry, there will be a link to Critical Role <laughs> in the pod. Don't no, I will put me? I will put a link there. Don't worry. Because Jake's mentioning it, and now i got to put a fucking link in it. <laughs> I mean, why? You can just go to Google. I mean, yeah, it's because, not difficult to find. It's very popular for right one, now. Um, it's kind of lazy. Oh, well, for two, it's kind of shitty to say, hey, go look this thing up. And <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ah, we're like, not sponsored by them, though. Yeah, no, I wish. by the way. <laughs> we, we don't have any sponsorships. We are sponsored by the two patrons who give us 10 bucks a month on Patreon. Thank, <laughs> thank you, guys, you guys, by the way. <laughs> yeah, thank you very, very, very much. And but, that, uh, that's all the sponsorships we have. Yeah. If you want but, a sponsorship, just let me know. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm I'm coming into the game. They on Critical Role came from Pathfinder pre-stream, and now they play 5th edition. Yeah. And then when Luke mentioned to me, he was like, hey, you know, are you interested in playing? I was like, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Let's go, let's go, let's do it, you know. And then, like, <laughs> like a month ago, he was like, oh, yeah, no, uh, we're playing Pathfinder because I got a bunch of books. And I was like, uh... I don't know how to play that edition. Crap. Well, guess what? <laughs> We're all going to learn together. Yep. Yeah. The benefit is, for the most part, the terms don't change, change too much. They really don't. Um, it, it's like I've said before, Pathfinder was like a spiritual successor to 3.5, and they made it tighter, a little bit more accessible, um, and that was the goal of 5th as well. Tighten it even more, make it more accessible, because as I understand it, 5th, went back away from four and more back to the traditional at the same time, expanding certain things um, that were uh, tradition, like, like traditional problems. People complain about three, five because mages are OP as fuck leaving fighters to just kind of be not hits, be useful. Yeah, yeah. Just be meat sticks. Yeah. Late, like late level <laughs> mages. <laughs> yeah. Late level mages just rule the battlefield, but either way, Pathfinder, tends to solve some of those problems. Sure. I doubt we'll come into that sort of problem too much. But I just, like I said, it's just we want to have fun. Yeah, no, I mean, like I said, that's that's how I approach every single thing we do. Yeah, oh yeah. It's just how can we make this fun? How can we make this interesting? Can we make sure that we're enjoying ourselves? Because ultimately, that's what matters to me. I want to make sure we're Absolutely. all... Absolutely. You know, we're all just... Yeah, no, this is fun. Like when we play car- any card game we play, I want to mm-hmm. make sure it's a fun card game. So we play Cards Against Humanity. We play Joking Hazard, which, by the way, we need to do that one day, too. Oh, yeah, that game's fun. Oh, absolutely. If you, have you played Joking Hazard? No, I have oh, not, my God, but I joking, would be down. Joking Hazard, is, is for me, is just as good as Cards Against Humanity, yeah, if not Really? Better. That's it's, saying a lot. You know what it is? Have you heard of it? No, I know nothing it's, um, about it. All right, so you know how Cyanide and Happiness did their uh, random comic generator? Yeah. They basically took that and turned it into a card game. Oh yeah, you you had you like linked it to me a little while ago. You're like, look at this, and I'm like, oh yeah, but no, I've never actually played it. Yep. I know we've played it at work at least 
couple times. Uh, yeah, we played it with other people. It uh, it's fun as hell. It's it can. Oh, be I believe it. Random. If it's cyanide and happiness in the form of a card game, yeah, yeah. sure, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean the goal is to make the stupidest or funniest comic that you can from the cards that you are given based on what's on the board already. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very it's very Cards Against Humanity, except with just that extra. It's a comic strip. And a side night and happiness, yeah. which we already know yeah. how I'm ama- I That's one of those things, like, how the fuck have you stayed fresh after 5,000 comics <laughs> right? in 11 Just years? Stu- keeping it's, it stupid and simple. It's like The Simpsons. And now, like, mo- how do you uh, still uh, come uh, up with new ideas? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, animations I, are still fucking absolutely. funny. Absolutely. Yeah, I, but uh, that's one of those things that we will also eventually do. Play Cards Against Humanity on the stream, or on, on, you know, on a pod. We'll play Joking Hazard. These are just things that we want to do eventually. And it's an excuse for us to have fun and then, like, put it out there. Yeah. And be lazy about coming <laughs> up with topics to discuss. Cause <laughs> let, me get, let me tell you guys, there are weeks where we come into here not knowing at all what the fuck we were talking about. Like today, we don't know what we were going to talk about before yeah. we got here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we were sitting on the couch and just talking, like, what are we going to talk about today? The extent I'm just like, pretty um... much was, hey, the Deadpool 2 trailer was cool. Go watch it. <laughs> which it which it was, yeah, by no, the way. It was way. totally fun. Um I mean, God. Uh, I, I, I will, I will be seeing that. Absolutely. Yes, Cable. Please. And, of course, we got Black Panther coming out next week. Which is I heard fun. that they crushed that movie. I heard it's phenomenal from all the early screening Every, reviews. Yeah, the, the early reviews and stuff. And I haven't watched any actual reviews. But the, the Twitter reactions and the people yeah. just like... We're like, oh my god, it's amazing. It's my thing ever. is this. My thing is this. I, I'm hoping that these people aren't saying it's really, really good just because it's a black superhero movie. I, yeah. That was kind of my fear, but I was seeing people that I fully believe, had it been bad, they would have criticized it even heavier. Mm-hmm. Like, there's there's been a lot of people that I, I was thinking, I'm waiting to see what they say, judging by the fact that if it, if it was even mediocre, they probably would have had a bigger, yeah. a negative reaction. I mean... I'm just I, I I've avoided every single trailer since the one that we saw. What was that last movie we saw? They showed the Black Panther trailer beforehand. Star Wars. Yeah, before before Star Wars, I saw that Black Panther trailer, and that was the last thing I saw. I'm like, I don't I don't want to I don't want to know. I don't want to see. I don't want to. I just I'm already hyped enough. I'm gonna go in as blind as I can, and that's all I want. I just want to <laughs> go in blind. Yeah. <clears throat> because I mean, this is one of those things I've been waiting for forever. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, so, I, mean, I mean, ever since I saw the Infinity War, like not the trailer that was released to the public, the one that uh, that involves Thanos throwing a moon at Iron Man, I was just like, yes, I'm so hype. I don't want to ruin anything because, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, and I'm sure you do. You and our listeners know that they have a tendency to spoil movies with their the trailers. Yeah. Trailers. So I've personally been trying to stay away from anything yeah. Infinity War related. Speaking I, of. Spoiling trailers, we got that teaser trailer for Venom. I hated it because it didn't show enough. Oh, no. It was, I mean, it was definitely a teaser, teaser trailer. The one thing I wanted from Fox, though, was at least one quick shot of Venom. That's all I wanted. Out Wait, of yeah, that could have been the entire thing mean, was Venom dude, breathing. You mean Sony? Just Sony. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, just no, just to is, see what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, they show the symbiote in the little the little container it was in. But that's in. not what people show up for. Like, I yeah. mean, like the thing no. is, here here's here's one of the disconnects that I have, and I know a lot of Spider Man fans have is how do you make a Venom movie without Spider Man? Exactly. Since Venom's powers come from, from Spider Man, exactly. It's like that's how that worked. Fucking the symbiote, you know, attached to Spider Man, and when it when it when it removed when it, when they separate it. It took some of Spider-Man's powers with it, and that's where Venom gets his powers from. That's why they're spider-like. So how do you rectify that? Also, fuck that teaser trailer. It was two minutes of Tom Hardy being angry and running through woods. I mean, I like Tom Hardy, <laughs> but I uh, Tom Hardy screaming and oh god, the the uh, <laughs> there's uh, a meme going around right now about the one minute and thirteen seconds or whatever when he freaks out, like. Uh, I think it's like my face when Venom's not in the Venom trailer. Yeah, oh, n- my God. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. I just kind of looked at I it thank like Jeremy Johns for that one. I, I just oh kind of looked God. at it like, really, this is all you're giving us. And I watched it. I watched it a couple of times. Maybe, maybe I missed something. No, there's just no. fucking nothing. There's just nothing. I mean, I mean, and and here's the thing, right? Like you, you want to make a superhero movie. I get it. That's fine. But you want to know why Marvel's superhero movies work? Because there's continuity. 
everything mat well okay let me rephrase most things match and line up the clintar which is the the race that the symbiotes are get their powers from whomever they bond to because they're a uh, a parasitic organism right so yeah. venom gets you know he bonds to spider-man while he's on war world he goes back it separates from him then it bonds to eddie brock which is why he gets spider-man powers so it's you also tell why me, he doesn't trigger the uh Spidey sense. Spidey sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you tell me how you're going to make a Venom movie without him ever interacting with Spider-Man, but still having Spider-Man powers that make sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, your fans are not going to like it. Yeah, no. I um... fully believe that, like like I said before, there's, there's the whole rumor and thing. A lot of people want to, uh, are hoping Spider-Man is in this, and that everything about them talking about it's not a part of the Marvel U- Universe... It's completely separate, blah, 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 is that that's all bullshit and cover story. Yeah. Which I fully, I, I still believe it is. I believe it's gonna, that's going to turn out that Spider-Man's going to be in this, or at least Peter Parker's going to be in this, and it's all smoke and mirrors from them. If they do that and they go with Agent Venom, which it very seriously looks like that's what this I is going to be, hope Agent do. Venom doesn't necessarily use all those Spider-Man powers the way that Eddie Brock Venom. Are you does. talking about Flash Thompson Venom? Yes. Oh God, I I he's would pay mu- good he's much money more to close Flash to Thompson Super Soldier. Venom, but and you've got Tom Hardy. Um, I don't think you turn him outright villain like you would if he was just Venom. Eddie Brock. I, Venom. Yeah, and I hope they don't because Venom is like Flash Thompson Venom is so much more in depth. It's such a good character. I yeah. would pay good money to see a movie with Flash Thompson Venom. I think I think that's the method they're going to go. So that's that to me is the excuse of. Well, this is why he doesn't have Spidey powers. I could see them making a Venom Venom down the road. Yeah. Another movie yeah. where Spidey gets the black suit, something happens. Um, I think that's where it'll come around. Um, I'm still crossing my fingers that either Infinity War 1 or Infinity 2, Spidey comes back in a black suit at, near the end. And by the way, just a, a very, very super quick synopsis for people that don't know. Uh, Flash Thompson Venom versus Eddie Brock Venom. Eddie Brock is obviously, you know, Spider-Man 3 Venom. Flash Thompson is a former war vet. He's a super lost, He lost his legs in combat, and the symbiote binds to him, and it lets him, gives him full, you know, use of his faculties, and then he becomes a secret agent. So yeah, they put a shock collar on the symbiote. Uh, well, on him, on yeah. Flash, yeah, and then uh, they they use him as a soldier, as a uh, I think he's part think of Shield, right? Yeah, he's like a secret yeah. agent for Shield. It's like Agent Venom, quote unquote. Which is the... of course doesn't go well multiple times. Multiple, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. You why? Don't why? The why you would just it? Don't, yeah. You get Carnage. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Carnage. <get> Carnage. <laughs> Carnage. I think is supposed to be in this movie as the villain. So I, you yeah. know what? We'll see. It sounds discombobulated already. It is. And I got to say, like, eh, just, to, just... A, to a point, I'm more worried about I want the origin to still be an alien species. They don't have to go in depth and naming it, blah, 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 comes from this planet. But I don't want it to be, <laughs> oh, we experimented on this goop and, or we created something in a lab. I really don't want that. We hit this lab, created meat with gamma rays no. and turned into yeah. a symbiote. <laughs> Did you guys see the, the, uh, the uh, tweets that uh, Sony made where they were like, some, like, person was theorizing. They were like, hey, is Alien, like, you know, the Alien yeah. franchise, they are like, is that a prequel to Venom? And they are like, I mean, do you want it to be? Because it can well, be if you want. The mo- there was there was this whole theory that the movie Life was legitimately going to be the prequel to Venom because that's essentially what that movie is. They found um, germs or something in space. They fucked with it, and it escapes, makes people go insane. It starts doing weird shit with DNA. Sure, and sure. unfortunately, it turns obviously it's not it's not a, a prequel to Venom. But there were a lot of people who were like, "Holy shit, just make this a prequel to Venom! Like <laughs> this is perfect." Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we got off on a tangent about Marvel movies again. So it turns out we could have just come in here and totally done a podcast on the, the Venom and Deadpool two trailer. Well, yeah. I'm sitting here thinking, like, you know, we can we we are very talented multitaskers. Yeah. We have zero other talent, but we can talk about random inane things for hours absolutely you know what that is one of my talents yeah you all I mean, know that i can just talk and talk and talk i try to restrain myself but i could talk for hours on end by myself oh to yeah. myself 
And I'm sure, you know what? I'm sure Jake's done that before. I yeah. have. Luke's talents. confirm. <laughs> okay, Luke's talents include breaking things. Not wearing pants. Not wearing pants. And just talking about random things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Telling stories. Like, fully, at some point, I expect in the middle of when we're playing D&D or whatever to be like, so I got to tell you how this happened with this character. <laughs> so this one time this happened to me. Oh, yeah. This one time in band camp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, and my talent is just being an asshole. Like yes. that's one thing. That's like the only thing I'm good at. He's an asshole. You're good at a lot know. of things. Being an asshole, chief among them. But you're good at a lot of things. Chief among them is being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is my special power. <laughs> and then unexpected. Okay. But anyway, so to go into uh, the actual playing the role playing game side of it. We were talking before about ability scores. So in creating your character, um, one of the most important things, obviously you come up with the fluffy stuff, your backstory. Fluffy. Uh, character name, what you kind of want the character's personality to be. That's where you you know choose an alignment. Um, but when you come down to actual hard numbers, you set first your ability scores because they really determine – how good your character is at being who he is. Absolutely. Bunch of different ways to roll. Um, old school, you roll a d20, you get what you get, you know, fall off certain numbers. The way I'm going to do it is, uh, at least in the Pathfinder book, it's called Heroic because it gives you slightly ab- uh, average to above average scores. You're going to roll 2d6 six times, and you're going to add six to each one of them. Okay. And then you can choose where you want to put those in your abilities. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So if you guys want to do that, uh, I can talk about what abilities got, are. Okay. I've got my 2d6 right here. So you want me to yep. roll these six times? Yep. Write down the numbers. Okay. So hey, there's that five charisma score. <laughs> hey, better than a five intelligence score. <laughs> yeah. So in Pathfinder and in most role-playing games, at least from the D&D side of things, you have six ability scores. Uh, you got dexterity. They're all easily explainable. Dexterity, how you know how stretchy you are, how flexible, how sneaky you are, that sort of thing. How good you are at getting away from trouble with resex, reflex uh, saves. Resex saves. Resex saves, yes. <laughs> Fuck again, guys. We've changed the game. Now, uh, Next, constitution, how hardy you are, this affects how much hit points you have, and fortitude saving throws against, like, poisons and blood loss and that sort of thing. Your intelligence, how smart you are, (laughs) depending on how low your stats are, that can be a very bad thing. Under such extremes. Wisdom (laughs) is wisdom, will saving throws, Uh, this affects certain spellcasters. Charisma is how charismatic you are. Sure. What kind of person you are. Yeah. And Joe, you want to go over what you rolled since we uh, just got done rolling? I, I, I apparently have a lucky like number seven, number eight streak because I got eight, <laughs> seven, seven, ten, seven, and eight. All right. Yeah. Mine and, are. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say mine are very, very extreme. I got five, eight, a 12 <laughs> on 2d6. Oh, baby. 11, seven, nine. Okay. So I'm going to be really good at most things and really bad at one thing, and I'm fine with that. So then you'll add six to those, and you can decide where you want to put them. Okay. So uh, I'll let, obviously, you guys talk about what characters you're going to play, but I know Jake is uh, planning on playing a cleric. Yes, sir. And Joe's going to play a rogue. Like he said, basically uh, a character who, uh, you know, he knows the character it's an old RPG or role playing character. Yeah, he's he had. importing one that he already yeah, yeah, has. Yeah. We talked about that before. His Skyrim character. As far as um, world building goes, I'm going to probably come up at least, uh, unless I sit down and build a world, come up with it on the fly, and then I'll find a world either through the Pathfinder books or I'll come up with another world somehow. I'm not going to be too focusy on that yet. Um. Hey, Either way, this all will fit into. I don't, it. I don't yeah. mean to cut you off. Uh, do you it's have okay. a Do you have a character sheet printed out for me to write this on? Or I have, yeah, we have a couple character sheets. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was use, like, I was use like, pencil if you're writing on there, though. Yeah, yeah. Once do, again. do you have a spare pencil on you? Yeah, you, you might want to give him a pencil, Luke. Yes. Yeah, I was doing all this in and, pen, and, and, and make sure it like... has make sure it has you know lead. Oh, they do. They're brand new. 
Well, they're that incredibly mean, old. That doesn't mean anything. They're incredibly <laughs> old, but they're brand new as in they've never been used. They're brand new in the sense that they've never been taken out of their packaging. All right, hang on. Guys, there's an issue. But first and foremost, what should I name my character? That is like the hardest thing to come up with. <laughs> okay, I have an old Kingdom Hearts name mm-hmm. that I used to. It's called Kajix. Okay. I think I'm going to go with that because I don't know if you guys know this or if our listeners know that. Uh, the Organization 13 members in Kingdom Hearts 2 get their names, their names when they were human, mixed up with an X in them. Because so, they're hardcore. Yeah, because they're hardcore. <laughs> yeah, they're so, super edgy. So super obviously, edgy. you know, a little, uh, you know, a long time ago, <laughs> last week, I um, was just like, yeah, I'm going to just mix my name around with an X in it and see what happens. And that's what I came up with. <laughs> just... His name okay, is so Scott. I like like His they said, a, I already have a character. His name is Zul. In Skyrim, <laughs> and only Zul. Yeah. In the, in Skyrim, the dragon tongue that means voice. Yeah. And that's all it is. Like. Okay. And there is a full name to him. He has an official the full. Fuck is Zul. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, it's Ghostbusters. I no, just, Zul is from Ghostbusters. Yeah. That that reference is not. I just I want you guys to know, both of you, that I'm putting my lowest score in my strength. Because I Good feel like you. it's the most adaptive. You're a cleric. So one of you guys should better better be able to lift things because I'm going to be like, eh, I can't lift this branch. Help. I'm sure somebody's going to play a, either a barbarian or It's a almost as low as it can be. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, mean, I, I've got a pretty well-rounded character, honestly. Thir- 14, 13, 13, 16, 13, 14 are my, mm. o- my overall stats. Overall stats for me, 11, 14, 18, 17, 13, 15. So I've got a pretty decent character. All around, but with one thing that I'm just going to be really bad at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it's not like intelligence. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and even if it is intelligence, no, no big my, deal. he's a cleric. No, I, I'm telling you right now, my wisdom is probably going to be my 18, and my intelligence is probably going to be my 17 or my 15, because I, I place a high value on knowledge and intelligence, like in real life. So I feel like it translates well yeah. over to the character. Um. Also, things you want to think about for your stats. Uh, or for, yeah, your character stats, um, they'll affect your skills too. High intelligence means you would be the go-to person for when the party is like, hey, we don't know what this is. Uh, yeah. Roll a knowledge dungeoneering. Yeah, Knowledge sure. um, arcana. Knowledge religion. Any knowledge check, obviously, is going to go through intelligence. Um, which is why rogues uh, doubly want to be high decks because, of course, you need to be disarming traps Sneaking. Right. How how do you determine the modifiers for the numbers? So Here, I the modifiers right there. Modify the way modifier works is ten is a zero, mm-hmm. twelve is a one, and every even number after that add another one. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Which took me I completely be honest, when I was told how to figure out stats, um I the, I was told an equation. Which means I did not fucking understand what the stats numbers yeah, fuck were that. for the longest time. I'm here to play D and D, not do math. Come on. Exactly. Even though D and D has a lot of math innately, but you know. Yeah, no, no. You your math skills playing a role playing game, a tabletop role playing game. Your math, simple math, will get better. Oh yeah. Because you're constantly adding different things, doing problems. At least it's not like 3.5 where there were so many floating modifiers. Like, oh, yeah, I got to remember this, and this oh, person's doing this. there's more floating and, modifiers. But there's not as many. Yeah. The thing is, they tend to be things like almost where you have to remember all the different little things your characters can do. Like, oh, I'm a dwarf. I get a plus one to attack and damage against orcs. And yeah. I forgot I could do that. And I have this, and I forgot I could do that. And yeah, it gets kind of annoying. Awesome. Yeah, it can it can get a little confusing. The my favorite thing that they did for Pathfinder, and I'm assuming it's one thing they did for five as well, is um, making the skill checks the condensing them. Uh, Three point five had two pages of skills. You don't need that. Oh yeah, hide and move silently were two separate things. Now it's it's sneak. just it's just stealth. Yeah, it stealth. Literally all it is. Yeah, I was um, looking at all the things like. Oh, you know, it's like diplomacy has like two or three different things, and like this has two well, or three it different had, things. It, and you it, had uh, like you had uh, one for lying, one for detecting lies. You had one for being not. It was it was that's it, it all was condensed just way into deception. Yeah. yeah, and like in now with this, you see that you only have 
uh, you have a very simple amount, and it just covers everything. And anything that doesn't fall into one of these, I would just have you roll based on a skill that I think it fits. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. I was going to be really upset with you if I got that back and you told me that an 18 was a plus zero. I'm like, what? No, what? Wait. No. I completely missed everything you just said about, about uh, <laughs> skill modifiers. Okay. Um, uh, you figured out the modifiers, though, right? No. It's, oh, okay. You're choosing where you want stuff to go. Okay, it's so ten. It is ten. It starts at zero. Every even number after that adds one. All right. Yeah. So it's zero. Twelve is one. Fourteen. Is I got two. you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. No. Okay. So like, what I said after that was those determine your skills because your base. Uh, the first number. Let me see your character sheet again. Or is there another blank one? Yep. There's sure. There's plenty of blank ones. There's plenty of blank ones, and we can uh, make photocopies for... Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And I'll probably actually use a digital copy. Is there a third pencil one here? No. Here, take this one. I don't need it. I didn't know if you were going to write stuff down. So, um, they uh, like, your class skill, or, or your, uh, your ability score, your modifier, determines the base of um, your skills, and then... If it's class skill, you get more ranks every time you put, or, or you get, so I don't remember how ranks work. I think you get more every time you put a rank in it, and then that'll give you your total on what you roll off of to do anything, skill-wise. All right, I got you. All right, so. Uh, who has the player's handbook? Joe, do you have the player's handbook over there? Yes. Uh, I just need to figure out what my racials are for being a half-elf. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about those bonuses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We don't, uh, and we don't have to go completely into that. Um, I honestly think that might be a little. I don't know. I guess we could. I mean, well, kind of important. We already started. I mean, oh no, I'm good. We're gonna do it for when we play for sure. I mean, if you guys want to build your whole characters right here, we can. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. I don't. I, mean, I, I I don't. <laughs> no, oh, I don't either. Because I think that would be a really boring podcast. Yeah, sure. No. <laughs> but it'd be, it'd be just. I gotta be honest books. with you. We've had entire series of just silence here, and that's not good. Yeah, yeah. We had more. Than yeah, one, that's fair. Which is trying to that avoid. And Jake so, doesn't seem to can't seem of, to figure out where he needs to talk into his mic. I don't know what you're talking about. Instead of doing any more number stuff, um, and what we'll do is, like I said, uh, Jake's playing cleric. You're playing a rogue. Playing a rogue. Mm. How, an oven rogue, of course, because you know that's what my character technically is. That's what he falls onto under this Pathfinder thing. That's what he closely translates to. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, with yes. daggers and bows and swords and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. <clears throat> It'll be fun. I mean, it, it will. There are a couple people that obviously aren't here right now that we'll mm. have playing with us. You know, we'll we'll round out the party a little bit more. Like I was telling these guys, I myself have played World of Warcraft for eight years, being an undead priest. So <laughs> I'm I'm very very used to the whole healing mentality, and I'm not gonna be that guy that's like, hey, I'm the healer. Just kidding. Let me take this mace and go swing it at this guy and die in one hit. Yeah. yeah. Let me go attack this dragon with my shoe. <laughs> I got which, a shield, by the guys. Way, Don't worry, I'm fine. Which, by the way, is an Earthbound reference. Uh, there's a point where you're playing through the game. You get on a boat to go sail to a, a foreign country, and on the boat you get attacked by a kraken, <laughs> which in this game is a giant like sea serpent dragon thing that breathes yeah. fire. And after you defeat it, the, the captain of the ship you're on says, oh, yeah, by the way, I threw my slipper at the beast, but I don't think you noticed. And I'm sitting there thinking, I don't think the beast would have noticed either. I killed it, guys. I hit it with my slipper. I did zero D4s worth of damage. Let's go. Yeah, like, yeah, you're, I'm sitting there hitting it with my baseball bat for, like, 400 damage, and you threw your fucking slipper at it. Oh, my goodness. I just picture you, like, on its head, like uh, like Cartman from South Park. Like, I'm just going to kill you, so this is going to take a while. Yeah, it was just, just tapping with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. It's it, Honestly, it's kind of like when the mage goes first, casts magic missile, and does a D4 against, you know, a troll or something. Yeah. And then the barbarian comes up and hacks its head off. Mage <laughs> goes, I get the assist on that one. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. The barbarian comes D4 up and just war masters. masters. You know what that actually reminds me of? Um, where it, it's in Lord of the Rings, you got the battle, and you got Gimli and, and, and Legolas, and Gimli's just sitting there taking <laughs> guys out. And so Legolas, like, Le- Legolas brings down an entire elephant. He's like, and, that still only counts as one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you fucking Gimli just looking at him, just, yes. Yeah, like, oh, that's great. I actually just started Two Towers. 
the book, like the audio book. Oh, yeah? Like, I, I admitted honestly, and I'll admit publicly, I have never watched or read Lord of the Rings. You know, everybody's like, oh, you like high fantasy, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, things like that, role playing. I'm like, yeah. They're like, what do, what do you mean you haven't yeah. ever seen Lord of the Rings? I'm like, hey, man, that's a commitment, right? Those movies are long. The books are fantastic. I, much um, longer. <laughs> yeah, the, the book is fantastic. Though. Like, I, I had a, a collector's edition softback, um, well, paperback. Mm-hmm. Oh, technically, it wasn't paperback. It was... Whatever. whatever it was yeah but um i i had that and it was you know it had all three books in one the extended versions of the books or whatever plus yeah. the appendix where it had all the elven language and all that it got ruined in a flood but before it got fucked up in the flood i i think i had gotten around halfway through that book mm-hmm. oh yeah I, I i just actually finished fellowship of the ring at work uh, i think it was monday and then I'm on like chapter four of the Two Towers right now, I, and, and it's it's just as good as I as everybody hyped it up to be. Like it's phenomenal. I actually envy that you have the time to do anything resembling that, because when I'm at work, I don't have the freedom to listen to things very often. I don't either. I just don't care. Well, I, no, I, no, I make no, no, people no, no, walk no. up to me to talk to me. There's a difference between what you do and what I'm in a customer service position, so I, I can't, yeah. I can't just put an earbud in and go fuck everybody. I'm going to go listen to this podcast. I mean, yeah. you, you totally can. I, I do it on some nights. Well, yeah, but no, that's why you're doing <laughs> other things. Though. But it's, yeah. but it's not as easy as me. I mean, my entire just job is, is literally to put boxes on shelves. You that's put, my you, entire job. You put <laughs> butter up and put them down. Yeah, you, exactly. You pick and up butter and put it sleep. on the shelf. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. whereas it's like, oh, we have to talk to people sometimes. Yeah, and it's yeah. horrible. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest. That's part of like when I'm listening to podcasts or audiobooks, I'm constantly pausing. You know, talking to someone for a few minutes. The entire conversation, I'm thinking, shut the fuck up and let me get back to my podcast. I'm the or book. exact same way. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure that you think that with more some people more than others. Oh yeah, well, yeah. 99% of the time with customers. Yeah. Certain times when people come up and ask me stupid questions, um, which we get entirely too often. Oh man, do we ever? I'm not even up there, and I know you guys get that entirely too often. I mean. You know how little patience I have for like stupid people and this like and stupid questions and this is the position I chose. I was gonna yeah. say you're in the wrong line of work, my friend. I mean, I I still remember telling you I was like, "Are you sure? You're gonna have to deal with some stupid shit." Yeah, I think I can handle it. All right, man. All right, whatever you, know you what? say. I've been doing it for over a year now. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't know how, but I have been doing it for a year and a half now. You know what? Just that two, just an extra two dollars and some odd chance an hour that I got. It's that like, money that helps. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good uh, incentive. That lubes it up a bit. Uh-huh. So I mean, yeah. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh my, hey, it's yes. work. It's a living. It's not a yeah. good living, but it's a living. I mean, it's it's one of the like my dad always said, like nobody likes to go to work. You might as well get paid well for what you do. I mean, you're gonna hate it no matter what you do. Make your money and I then mean, go home. I don't think that's completely true that you're going to hate it no matter what you do. But, because, I mean, I think there are definitely things out there that you can do that will be fun. Sure, sure. But as a general rule for most of us. Yeah. Like, if we were doing this full time, that would be amazing. Oh, I'd love to do that. I mean, that would that would just be incredible. Mm. But right now, if we can break even on it, at least the, the ongoing, mm. I'd be happy with that. You mean you'd pay me to sit in a room and talk? Oh my God! What? Yeah, oh. I would consider paying you. I, I don't still, know. <laughs> I, st- I still, at the same time, like I get it, and at the same time, I don't. And I think back to before, um, not just, uh, not like not even the let's play, not not just like Twitch streaming, but let's plays. Mm-hmm. How that went from non-existent to oh my God, these people aren't just some of them aren't haven't just made money. They've made real, real money. fucking oh, yeah. wealth money. Like fucking PewDiePie. When everyone said he's done, everything's going to drop him. Had YouTube banned him and him him not being allowed to be on the internet? Oh, boo-hoo. He retires a millionaire. Oh, yeah. Like, like it, 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 and still he came back. It still has as many people as he I had mean, before. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, he's, I mean, not, he's not going anywhere anytime no, soon. No, I no. Mean, no, no, he's just, not. To yeah. me, that's my – I still remember when it's like – Wait, you watch people play a video game pre-recorded? I, yeah, I was the same way. I was like, we live... I remember just stopping one day and just going, we live in a society where people that make videos about playing video games are millionaires. Yeah. 
Like, it blew my mind. I was like, wow. I mean, when you think about it, though, <laughs> it's not as insane as the fact – like, like, like when you compare it to the fact that there are people who are insanely wealthy who all they did was talk into a camera every day of their life. Yeah. Just, here's what I'm doing. Here's what I've done. Yeah. yeah. How's it you going? Got, like, the- Casey Neistat and these other vloggers, yeah. when that blew up – yeah, no, sponsorships. I mean, Dudes riding fucking um, uh, Emirates Airlines in the ultra deluxe luxury fuck you money cabins for free. I mean, yeah, just to show it off. Just, just to, to say, hey, show look, it off. Just this because is, this he's is what so like. big. I mean, that they just want to show it off. I mean, I literally watched a video. Uh, I can't remember if I brought it up to you or not, Luke, but I watched a YouTube video of a popular Twitch streamer who goes by the name of Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> he. You know, won Twitch Streamer of the Year twice. He he took a, a small break. Uh, he had some some marital problems, I think. Just you know, came whatever. back. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. To break he, uh, the record of yeah, consecutive views. Yeah. He came back and concurrent he posted. Views. Concurrent, yeah, whatever. And the he word. posted. Yeah. I think it was a. You know, I mean, feel anybody who's listening, feel free to correct me. But like, it's like a thirty minute video or so of his first PUBG game when he came back. And I'm not lying to you. He made over three thousand dollars in fifteen minutes yeah. of just him running around in player unknown battlegrounds. People kept donating him five hundred dollars here, five hundred dollars there, a hundred dollars here, two hundred dollars here. I'm just like, are you serious? Like, yeah, yeah. and and nothing against him personally. Like, mad respect to the guy. He's doing what he can. He's making money. But like, it just blew my mind. I was hey, like, hey, wow. Hey. Don't you mean mad disrespect? <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Good. Get the fuck out. You can't use the microphone right. <laughs> Lock the door. I don't know what you mean. I'm using it fine. But, sort of. um. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, in, in that extends to now, people are fucking Twitch streaming yeah, literally no. everything and yeah. not just the titty streamers. No, no, you got like you got like dudes sitting there eating noodles and shit, and the fucking community, com, uh, community of eating or whatever the fuck they call it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You got you got people sitting there eating noodles. Uh, you got people sitting there reading books. You got people sitting there putting makeup on. Like, by the way, next pods. week my Twitch stream of no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Now you do need to leave. You just get the right? fuck out. You know what? I accept. That. I've, I'll leave. I've said it I've before. Said, I'll say what? it again. Luke, open if that window. Someone, We're throwing them out the fucking window. If someone wants Please, no. to eat Tide Pods, they have my blessing. <laughs> Please. You know what? If you drink Smart Bleach, it'll make you Do all of us a exactly. You know there was a YouTuber who actually did that? He didn't have Tide Pods. We just drank a cup of bleach straight up. Like, I was like, damn. I, mean, I want, There's this... There's, this there's guy's been, hardcore there's cutting out the middleman. There's people that have done that stupid shit before. There's this mildly famous YouTuber who his entire channel has been based on doing challenges like that. Sure. Like, I remember the... Me, the not, not as insane thing. The first thing I ever saw the guy on was when he did the gummy bear challenge yeah. where you eat a, uh, what was it like a one pound or a five pound yeah, bag? The, fi- of, the five pound gummy the bear? The five pound bag of sugar free Harboro. Do you mean the big one or a bunch of no, small? No, 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 the no. The five no. pound bag of gummy bears. No, the five pound gummy bear. He did that too. But the original one is the sugar free gummy bears because they give you mass diarrhea. It is essentially like taking an entire bar of X lax. It is awful. He did that, and it was fucking hilarious. Or eating White Castle. He also has done things like eating hold up, hold a up, bag hold up, of tax. Hold up, hold up, hold up. White Castle gets a bad rep. They are a fantastic food. And Absolutely. Yeah. And if you are sitting there eating the burgers and getting sick, there's something wrong with you. Because fuck that. I can eat them just fine. And I don't even eat carbs. So fuck that. I will say, you know, everything affects people differently. I've had worse reactions, much worse to Taco Bell than White Castle. Yeah. I think uh, I think Taco Bell's much more yeah. truth to the you're going to shit yourself afterwards. Yeah, it but, depends on the sauce. But for you know Taco what? Bell. You know what? It depends on Taco Bell. Taco Bell's delicious. So. Yeah, they're both it delicious. It's, I eat them both. As Chris Porter has said, it's ecstasy for your face. Yes. Oh yeah. And much like ecstasy, come on down you're... here. We're putting shit in the burrito. <laughs> and 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 much like with ecstasy, whenever you eat it, you're going to be curled up on the floor, dying in, in a corner, dying, saying, "I either want to sh- poop or die, one or the other." Both are gonna happen. Uh huh. <laughs> so I mean, that that's life, man. But hey, whatever, whatever makes you have fun. Whatever's a good day. You know what I like is that we started this this episode with the intention of, of talking about, uh, you know, Pathfinder and and D and D type stuff in general. We've talked about trailers. We've talked I mean, about. We a little did bit talk about that. We did. No, we totally did. And I have no idea where we're at right now. We're in a safe space, Jim. We're fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Luke, now you're going out that fucking window. <laughs> you're coming with me. Save spaces. <laughs> and the window's not even big enough for you to fit out, but damn it, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> Don't fat shame me. <laughs> <laughs> not fat shame you. you. I'm stating a fact the window's not big enough. <laughs> I'm stating a fact. I'm, n- I'm not shaming you. Oh, I'm stating a fact. Luke, you are Show a large man, and the window is small. You're not going to fit out it. No, I know. The window doesn't open that far, we'll f- but life uh, finds a way. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff Life Goldblum. finds a way. I'm going to have to edit the hell out of this episode Go watch and cut out some shit. Some random... I think we could leave that in there. No, I'm talking about the silence. Oh, yeah. No, no, I don't know what got, you mean. There was, there, was, there was a good 35 seconds where I was just like, fucking someone save me, and Jake started talking, and I was like, that's a bro. Well, yeah. Jake just talks, and he has no point to what I, he's saying. So. I know knew what? Hey. if there was anyone I could rely on talking and there, loud yeah. and obnoxiously, it would be Jake. Yeah, there was there was a point there. I can't remember exactly when, but there was a point where we just looked at each other, and I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to say the first thing that comes into my head, so this. <laughs> at least he didn't say something really bad, like, kill all the Jews. Like, no, Jake, don't no. say that. <laughs> I am not racist. <laughs> no, Jake, stop. No. Oh, bad dog. <laughs> Start smacking him with a newspaper. <laughs> I, I get into the uh, closet, get out one of the old microphones, plug it in, and start beating him with it. So all you hear is do 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 do. <laughs> speaking speaking of fat shaming, I saw a post the other day. <laughs> I saw a well post played. that somebody said Kmart will now call its plus size clothing fabulously sized, and someone responded with, "I applaud such body positivity. Hopefully, the medical field will change the name type two diabetes to fabulous diabetes someday soon." <laughs> <laughs> and I went, "That is so wrong. It's so funny. like all right. I don't. I. I. I don't want to go us at SJW because I'm all about like okay, be comfortable with exactly. who you are. Exactly. Sure. But understand that there are health conditions that come with being overweight. Yes. And that there is no such thing as being overweight and being healthy. Yeah. There there's no. not, guys. It's medical fact. It's not me shaming you for being fat. I I No, I'm not trying to do that. But there is medical fact. There is scientific fact to back up the claim that there is no such thing as being fat and healthy. Those are incompatible. If you're overweight you're unhealthy. Yeah, don't go to your doctor with a problem and say, "Now don't blame it on me being overweight because that's just a lie." No, it's probably the reason you're having problems. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're having back problems And this is coming from a fat motherfucker. <laughs> like I, I completely understand. I can confirm that Luke is fat. <laughs> I'm looking at him right now. I don't know what it, I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's all about it's all about choice and, you know, I don't I I'm I have I'm at the point in my life where I'm more likely to go, you know, I'd rather have that like six seconds of happiness because I ate that candy bar instead of like, oh, well, I'm going to go eat a granola bar and just be sad. Yeah. And I mean, like- <laughs> honestly, the granola bar is not any real better than the fucking candy yeah, bar. Yeah, right. Or and- whatever. Well, you know what I mean. Or not eating anything. Yeah. And I mean, and I can say as well, like I was talking to Joe about this before we started, like I... My whole life, I've been just blessed with metabolism, and I could eat whatever I wanted. I could sit around. I could do nothing, and I've never gained any weight. Since I quit smoking cigarettes, I have gained uh, 45 pounds. Like, I went I went from 120. I don't believe you at all. I, I weighed myself today. So I, like- I weigh 165 pounds, <laughs> Like which is, you know, I mean, obviously, I'm not overweight by any stretch of the imagination, but at the same time, it's like... Now I was like, oh, well, should I exercise? Should I? Nah. Yeah. No. Well, one of those, I just want to eat. <laughs> you're one of those Food guys that, and I've had friends like this before, where literally it would go like a day or two or like a, a, almost a whole day and not eat anything and not even notice. And be like, oh, I should eat something. And then would eat an entire plate of fries or a large pizza. Yep. yep. And be like, okay, I'm good. Yep. Yep, and then it's like me. you don't that never gain a pound, never gain anything, and then you could just go without eating, maybe eat a little bit, maybe eat a whole fucking lot, and just stay the same. Yeah, no, that that is Jake in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. his body goes into like super overdrive survival mode because he hasn't eaten a fucking thing. Well, I've seen when Jake, <laughs> when Jake does does go, I need food. It's usually like buys a bag of a uh, dollar bread and eats all of it. That's well, that's monetary <laughs> more so than yeah, dietary. yeah, it's a monetary problem. I have no money, so I'm gonna buy these seven cent bagels. Yeah, like oh I've my been... god, I smashed three of those before I came over here. I just want you to know that. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, we need to stop making fun of Jake's situation. No, you guys no. can make fun of me all you want. It is I mean, what it is. I've, I've no, Jake, we're, we're shaming you. It's not good. I don't Shame. care. If I couldn't take a little <laughs> bit of fun prodding and poking he's, from you guys, I wouldn't be triggered. here. Oh my god, I hate why you guys put me on the podcast just to make fun of me. Just uh, one day we got to do that with somebody. <laughs> we got to do that with Grubs. Yep. Oh Grubs, if you're God. listening, Bloody one Grubs. day we're going to bring you on here just to make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> and so it basically, be great. it's going to basically be just like any other normal conversation with me. I'm just going to be pulling less punches. So, I mean, oh man, there will be no, there will be pulling no punches. I, I still pull a little punches. Like I could go hardcore in on anybody, but it's like I, I gotta, I gotta reserve a little bit of the. Meanness. There's a difference between, and it's one thing. Like uh, again, talking about the fat shaming and. The, making fun of someone for whatever they're doing in their life. It's the difference between desiring to hurt per- someone, desiring to laugh with some person, or sure. whatever whatever you come off. Yeah. Um, I am a very big person of, like, it, it, if you're being internet bullied, turn off the internet. Just, go, go look yeah, at something else. exactly. Uh, at the same time, I also say to the people who would do that to someone, why do you got to be an asshole? Yeah, Why yeah. You no. gotta be a complete. I'm complete fuckhead. Like that's. I think that's something a lot of people tend to overlook. It's like, yeah, when you're on the internet, yeah, they're gonna be assholes. You need to learn to deal with it. You need to have exactly. at least something of a skin. But at the same time, don't be an asshole. But if you are getting bullied, you are getting harassed. Block options exist, dude. Yeah, just get away from that situation. Block yeah, it exactly. Go away from it for a while. Watch a cat video. Go watch porn. Go watch Sailor Moon. <laughs> These are all things that you can do instead of standing there, instead of sitting there looking at your messages and getting bullied by people. Or watch yeah. a porn video it's about unfortunate Sailor that Moon and her cat. Exactly. It, it, like, whatever whatever your fetish is, go <laughs> indulge in that for a while yeah. and don't give a shit what people think. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean... Go, go get your fetish and have fun. <laughs> if you're a furry, put a fucking tail up your ass and go waggle around your bedroom for a while yelling, bark, bark, who gives a yeah, shit? Yeah, right? You know, do <laughs> exactly. you. Do you. That doesn't mean people aren't going to make fun of you for it, but that's something you need to learn to deal with. And that's a problem in today's society. Like I've said is before, nobody... there's always a community. To... Yeah. You can yeah, go to exactly. somewhere, find people who think like you. Wait, there's wait, also... wait, wait, Luke. Are you saying there are safe spaces? Okay, it's oh not safe in God. the idea that no one can hurt Show. you. At the same time, yeah, kind of. I don't, oh. obviously, no, no, to me. Okay, no, no. What I just did is entirely different from going to a university and requesting we have a space yes. specifically for white people or a space specifically for black people. You know what that's called, guys? Segregation. That's illegal, too. Yes. <laughs> So, I mean, to sit there and go to your university and say that, you are an it's asshole. Also, it's also yes, the idea yes, you of are. if anyone has a differing opinion, yeah. they have to leave that area. No. Yeah, you know no. what that's called? That's freedom of expression. You know what you can do if you don't enjoy what they're – you can express your distaste – by fucking walking away. Also, yeah, exactly. you could take that fucking group and go to the goddamn pizza joint down the street and be together there, and then you don't have to deal with the asshole. Mm-hmm. And if the asshole follows you, go somewhere else. Beat the fuck out of him. There's seven of you. No, one no, of no, 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 no. I wouldn't. <laughs> Violence <laughs> no. is never the answer. You know what? You're right. Unless it comes to Nazis, we should all be punching Nazis. Sure, <laughs> sure. I can agree with that. No, I mean, that that's what Captain America was all about. Man. Oh, my God. Which means that's what America is about. Punching Nazis. <laughs> like we've said before, though. Is that how Captain America works? I like guess. I've said before. <laughs> okay. We've said yes, it before, actually. though. There is a difference from punching Nazis and punching someone who disagrees with you so you've called them a Nazi. Yeah. You can no, no. fuck right off, too. Yeah. If they're wearing an SS on their shoulder, punch them, yeah, motherfuckers. If they're wearing... Okay, unless... You're at a World War II reenactment. Yeah, don't punch Please those guys. Please don't start punching people there unless it's a part of the reenactment. Oh my lord! Okay, I don't know where this podcast is going. <laughs> let me let me let me interject. Hold on, one I want thing. everywhere. I want to I want to I want to run a title by you. Yeah, and it's a reference that I'll understand and I'll explain to you guys afterwards. Can we call this episode? Do you still play Minecraft? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> I want to say me. no. Well, what's the reference? <laughs> my ex girlfriend. I wanna. I wanna. My ex fiance. Oh, you told me about this randomly. Yeah. She randomly messaged me out of nowhere. Okay, a little background. I dated her for like five years, on and off. We were engaged for about a year and a half, and uh, I've broke it off. I broke it. Off. We broke it. I broke it off with her back in like 2011. We stayed friends for a little while. She gave me chlamydia. I kicked her out of my life. 
<laughs> Shit. Yeah, no, I got the clap, and I was like, okay, now you can clap the fuck out. Now you can leave. So, <clears throat> did that. Clap on, clap off. I had to contact her a couple years back, shut the electric off in my apartment because it was in her name. I moved in here now, and then she messaged me about six months ago and says, do you still play Minecraft? As if we still fucking talk. The, the entirety of the message, no introduction, no nothing to lead up to it, just... You still play Minecraft? I, there very well might have been another message. I don't know. I have her muted, so I don't get notifications or anything. And I archive like why the why are you at why are you at But that's all you really need. Touching the art uh, what? Do da do da. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was ret- <laughs> so that's uh, would you would you care if I name this episode? Yeah, no, we could do, do that. Play Minecraft. I was so scared Minecraft? you were gonna read that. I was like, no, Luke, that's why I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was funny in context. But yeah, that's what I want to call it. I want to name it be, uh, just because this episode has been entirely fucking random because we've gone from Pathfinder to movie trailers back to Pathfinder to random anecdotes back to Pathfinder, and then now we're making PSAs Nazis and Nazis. And and I want to I I do want to interject my own uh, PSA bit of advice. You know, I mean these guys kind of handed on it, and it to me it should be self explanatory, but there are people that don't. Uh, don't give two shits what people think. If some random jack-off does not like you because you're overweight or because you play Dungeons & Dragons or because you like cats or dogs or, you know, whatever, fuck them. Who cares? Like, they are not important to you, so why are you letting their opinion, you know, influence how you feel? Like, you're you. Like what you like. If someone doesn't like it, you don't need them. Like, bottom line. That's pretty much exactly how we've approached this. Yeah. We, we do our podcast. We have fun with it. And maybe one day we'll turn it into a career, make money off of it, and we won't have to work retail hell anymore. But yeah. to tell you Dear guys God, what, I hope so. Tell you guys what, I think that's where we're going to end it before we go off another rant about random, inane yeah. bullshit. So, uh, Joe, you want to talk to me about your coffee maker? You know, I, I really kind of need to know about your coffee maker right now. Jake, I'm going to punch you in your dick with your own hand. I just want you to know, everyone, that both Luke and Joe are just staring at me with intense hatred right No, now. I'm more angry. I just shut his microphone I'm off. more angry because I was going to say something along the lines of, so how about that government shutdown, guys? And then oh he God. fucking took away my joke. I beat you to it. <laughs> All right. Seriously, though, guys, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. I was Jake. And you guys have a good day. And remember... Hashtag fuck EA. Always. Always.